this is our dedication plaque. Of course, it's, as you can see, it's dedicated to J.C. Emmons and, and his assistant director, Johnny B. Oliver. We spent many, many years uh, developing the civil defense, which is, has in turn turned into the Murray County Fire Department. So uh, as a brand new headquarters station, we felt that uh, I deem it necessary to, to uh, dedicate to their years of service uh, to both those gentlemen. So uh, we'll just go right on in the front door here. We have a foyer here that uh, would normally be secured just with this door so people can come on in and, uh, and then uh, of course we can buzz them in from here. Uh, this office is a, is a dual purpose or multi-purpose office. Uh, we're staffed with a chief and, assist, or, and two assistant chiefs, one over operations and one over training and special operations. And uh, we also have a grants coordinator in which we get a lot of our money off the federal grants. So uh, we all four use this office, uh, of course, with computers and uh, things that you normally see in an office. Uh, especially there. Uh, going on down the hallway here, uh, one thing is we we, uh, we try to get firefighters, some of our volunteers, to, to hang around the station so that during the day or, or night we have a call, we can, we can uh, respond to that call pretty quickly. So we try to make them comfortable and something, give them something to do where they can hang around. Um, we're coming down the hallway, you see some of the, some of the older pictures of, of some of the crews, some of the, some of the uh, training events and, and such. We try to always dedicate uh, a lot of things to our fallen. Here's all the names of uh, that died on September 11th from the Fire Department of New York, the New York Police Department, the EMS Port Authority. We always we always try to remember those, those that have fallen. Um, again, we, we we try to give them something to do. The, the firefighters are hanging around. This is their lounge area. We got recliners, couches, nice nice flat screen. Uh, our kitchen area. They'll. We'll fix meals together, eat together. Uh, uh, that point. Go back through this way. Um, and I think you talked to the chief before about our about our training uh, priorities. And, and again, it it is a priority. This is our training room here. also doubles as a backup 911 system. It, it can, so uh, it can seat about 18 to 20, 20 students. We have uh, of course, it's equipped with surround sound. Uh, power on that side of town. screen there. It's all wired into PowerPoint, where we can use PowerPoint on laptops, DVD players. Uh, we can even get cable TV and, and, and internet on there, too, if we, uh, if we have anything trainer-wise on, on the internet. Uh, so, of course, it's, it's a piece of Some of the older stuff in our, in our cabinet that we've collected over the years, as you can see, some very old fire extinguisher, sirens and such, uh, some things that have uh, burned up in fire, some of our equipment that we kind of, we, we keep around and show them what not to do with it as an example. This hallway is for, for the bedrooms, but uh, as things go, we've already kind of outgrown our, our area. So we've had to make a couple of them into an office. Uh, with, uh, with the station here, not only do we have the administrative staff of the fire department, we also have station staff. And this is where their district chief, their two captains, and four lieutenants, this is their office. They have to uh, share an office as well. So we've had to convert the bedroom into, into one of those. But, uh, of course, restroom facilities. Uh, each bedroom, which we've got two in use now, are equipped with a couple beds. You know, if the guys want to want to spend the night, um, run, run the calls at night. If they're not doing anything, they got a place to a place to sleep. A little home away from home. This is our uh, decontamination room. We we built it, and designed it so that it'll come straight off the bay, so that we have any uh, fire contaminants or, or biohazard on us. We can come straight into here. Take the clothes off. Go ahead and wash those. Decontaminate them with the sink, and also has a shower inside that we can we can take a shower there without bringing any contaminants into the station. This is what we call a a cascade room. This is where we fill our air bottles for, for firefighting activities. Uh, 
Um, we got this is another piece of equipment that we got off of federal grants. Uh, several several thousand dollars in there uh, to make sure that we fill our air bottles with, with clean air. So this this has to be separated from everything else. Uh, as you see, a five bay area. They're drive-through bay, so that we can we can back apparatus in, and, and uh, one came out of uh, each end. We keep an engine, a tanker, a uh, actually a, a aerial device here, a snorkel, or a rescue, a brush truck, uh, some ATVs for search and rescue and, and brush fires, and all of our special operations equipment, which we'll, we'll go look at in a minute. Uh, say, all the firefighters here are, are racked up neat. I think we got the nice guy. This is our dispatch room. Um, kind of, kind of, as, as most rooms, it, it doubles as something else with a printer and, and all. Or, come on through, sweet. You're all right. Come on through. See ya. Um, it doubles somewhat, but we have what's unique about this room is it's concrete uh, all the way around. Them solid concrete on the walls and on the ceiling so it provides us somewhat of a, uh, as a safe room if we have a tornado or, or some type of uh, situation like that. So that we, can, we can still communicate on the outside using those screen here. So. And uh, that's it too, man.